So after talking about the history taking of the obstetric patients, now we will talk about how we should examine the uh, obstetric patient or pa uh, patient or person or female who is pregnant. We should not say patient because it's not, it's a physical condition, but it's a uh, pregnant women. So in this section, we will talk about the symptoms of uh, pregnancy and pseudosiasis. Then we will talk about the general and systemic examination and also what are the changes during pregnancy uh, in the skeletal system and the limbs. So first, the symptoms of the pregnancy. Patient, a person who is pregnant or women who is pregnant usually have uh, fetal movements not until 20 weeks. Usually after the 20 weeks, the uh, fetal movements are felt. There is excessive lassitude and lethar lethargy. Patient is very weak, tired, they don't have any energy. And this is usually in the first trimester of the pregnancy, first three months of the pregnancy. There is breast tenderness and heaviness of the breast. And these uh, are the ch changes which are the same as occur in the premenstrual phase of the cycle. In the premenstrual phase, usually before the onset, three to four days before the onset of menstruation, usually there is heaviness and tenderness in the breast because of the hormone changes. Frequency of micturition also present in uh, pregnancy and this, the, uh, this frequency of micturition, micturition is usually due to the pressure on the bladder exerted by the gravid uterus. Uh, there is pika. Pika is a condition in which there is a craving for particular food. They usually, uh, pregnant women uh, like to eat uh, like sour food, spicy food, this, uh, and they usually have a dislike for certain foods also. They don't like the smell of certain foods and when they have, the, they smell those foods, usually they have nauseated feeling and they have vomiting. So pika is when there is a craving for particular food. Secondary amenorrhea. Amenorrhea is present. Usually the first uh, uh, indication that the uh, women might be pregnant is the um, uh, amenorrhea or absence of the menstruation or when they miss the cycle after three or four days when they do the pregnancy test, home pregnancy, it comes positive. So that's secondary amenorrhea. Nausea, vomiting, very common, especially in the early morning sickness, uh, in the first trimester of pregnancy. And some uh, females usually when they are pregnant, they complain of nausea and vomiting. All nine months they have a bad feeling, but some women usually have it early in the pregnancy and some don't have this problem. So it depends on the uh, individual, they have this, not this complication. And nausea and vomiting during pregnancy is because of increased production of the hormone HCG, which is human chorionic gonadotrophin, and it's produced by the placenta during pregnancy. Next was pseudosiasis, or uh, it's a condition in which the female is not pregnant, but they have uh, symptoms of pregnancy and symptoms and signs of pregnancy, and they usually feel that they are pregnant. Very common in uh, females who are uh, uh, who want to become pregnant desperately and who are afraid or they have a fear of pregnancy. Usually females who have conception problems and they are they want to conceive for quite a while. Uh, every time when they have a pit, uh, uh, in the beginning or at the end of the cycle, if they miss few days, three, four days, 
usually they feel that they might be pregnant and then they do the test and it's negative. So this is pseudosiasis. Development of symptoms and signs of pregnancy in a woman who is not pregnant. Due to intense desire or fears of pregnancy. And this even, the, both these conditions can lead to hypothalamic amenorrhea. Hypothalamic amenorrhea is there is a, a production of the gonadotropic hormone is affected as a result of this and this can lead to amenorrhea and women and the female thinks that she might be pregnant. Examination of the person or pregnant women is a general examination. In general examination on each visit, usually the blood pressure is tested and if there is any anemia and blood pressure and height and weight, all those is uh, done on each antenatal visit. Systemic examination is each system is sep examined separately in which cardiovascular system, respiratory system, and general abdominal examination is done. Detailed obstetric examination in which uterus is examined. It can be done by the palpation, by the hand or by the ultrasound examination. Then general and is a systemic examination. This is blood pressure recording is done on each visit. Uh, it's better if the uh, abdomen is big or uterus is big, that big person should be on the left lateral position. This is to relieve the uh, pressure of the uh, gravid uterus on different blood vessels that can affect the blood pressure reading. So general and systemic examination, blood pressure is recorded in the left lateral position. Physical examination, then we do body mass index, heart and lungs usually done by auscultation using the stethoscope. Usually the flow murmurs, soft flow murmurs are common in the normal pregnancy. Head and neck is examined. Uh, if there is usually there is clozma present, that's the brownish pigmentation is very common in pregnancy because of uh, sometimes due to low iron levels, patient is anemic. Uh, uh, that can lead to this brownish pigmentation or clozma. Anemia, mucosal service and conjunctiva should be examined for pallor. So for pallor, check the face. If there's a conjunctival lining, ask the patient to look up and then pull the uh, lower lid down and check if the conjunctiva is um, pale. That's a sign of anemia. Thyroid enlargement. Then also in the general and systemic examination, look for changes in the breast and on the abdomen. In the breast, there is enlargement in the size of the breast with increased vascularity, development of Montgomery's tubercles, and increased pigmentation of areola of the nipples. It's very, very common in pregnancy. Enlargement of the breast and development of to Montgomery tubercle and increased pigmentation. And the changes on the abdomen, these are the stretch marks or stri gravidarum. Very common in pregnancy and they stay after the pregnancy. Usually the if you look the pregnant women who had these and you examine them later on, you will see these stri gravidarum. 
Then the changes that occur in the limbs and skeletal, usually patient might have, uh, patient should be examined for edema and for varicose veins. Dependent, uh, uh, pitting edema is very common in the dependent areas like in the lower extremities around the, uh, in the foot around the ankle. If you put press your finger, there is a small pit form and that dependent edema is very common in pregnancy because of the pressure of the uterus on the vessels and look for varicose veins also dilated veins are also because of the gravid uterus posture changes posture changes are common this is the kyphosis humpback or it's the it's in the thoracic uh, spine and then there is lordosis is the inward curve of the spine uh, in the lumbar region so tendency to develop kyphosis and lumbar lordosis is also there so that was all about the normal uh, changes that occur during pregnancy, some of the signs and symptoms of pregnancy, and also were pseudosiasis. Thank you very much for watching scardia.com.